Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. So you are trying to install a fresh copy of Windows 11 or Windows 10 to your computer and you get to this screen where you are supposed to select the drive where you want to install your Windows and you have this blank list saying we couldn't find any drives. Meanwhile, you have your SSD or hard drive attached to your computer. Now there are several reasons why you may run into this problem ranging from hardware related to software related issues. In this tutorial, I'll be sharing six possible ways to troubleshoot and resolve this problem in hope that one of them would help you out. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first you want to start checking on the hardware related issues because no matter what you do on the software side or settings, if your issue is hardware related, then nothing would work. And based on that, the first thing would be to check that your SSD or whatever storage drive you are using actually works fine. There are many ways to do this. One quick way would be to use a USB SATA adapter or some other adapter to attach it to a working PC and check that it is detected and functional. So here I'll just attach my drive to this laptop. Then open File Explorer and check that it is detected and accessible. So no question marks, no red X or yellow triangles. Everything should look fine. Now if you do not see your attached drive in the File Explorer, then you want to check your disk management tool to see if it shows up there. To do that, just go to your Windows search and type Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. Click on the match from the search results. You can also find this in the control panel. On this disk management page, you want to check that your attached disk is present and usable. Now, if it shows up as not initialized or with any drive latest, then it's okay that it doesn't show up in your file explorer, but that shouldn't prevent it from showing up during Windows installation. Now, one last place to check if your disk is in any way recognized is to use the disk part tool. To do that, just go to search and type disk part as shown on the screen. Click on disk part from the search results. Hit yes on the user account control. Here on the disk part prompt, type list disk and hit enter. Now that should reveal any disk that is attached to your computer presently. If your attached disk doesn't show up here, then you likely have a defective disk. If your disk shows up fine at any of these steps and still doesn't work during installation, then you should proceed to the next step. So after verifying that you have a working drive, the next step would be to check that your drive is properly attached to the slot. As simple as this may sound, it could be the cog in your wheel. This is purely physical. You need to ensure that the drive is in proper physical contact with the slot where it is meant to be attached. A simple reattachment could be all you need here, ensuring that there are no obstacles or dust between the SSD pins and the slot and that the drive is properly fastened to the board using the proper attachment elements. Now with every solution in the tutorial, always try the installation again to see if it now detects your drive before moving on to the next fix. With that done, the next suggestion is applicable if you are using an M.2 SSD, be it SATA or NVMe. Here you need to check and ensure that your computer supports the M.2 SSD standard you are trying to use. And here we are not just talking about physical compatibility. M.2 is just a slot form factor. The slot may be able to support NVMe SSDs only, SATA SSDs only or both. So you need to check your system specifications to see what your computer actually supports. For instance, this M.2 to USB 3.0 adapter is designed to support only NVMe. So even though I'm able to attach a SATA M.2 SSD to it, the SSD will not be detected when I attach this to a computer. Now the same is also true for your computer. And that could be the reason why you do not see any disk during Windows 11 or Windows 10 installation. One way to check what your computer supports is by checking the spec sheet using the model number. Now, if the spec sheet shows that your model has multiple disk configurations, then you might want to check the specific configuration of your computer using the serial number. Different manufacturers have different links where you can verify this. Remember, you can find your serial number somewhere underneath your laptop or from the BIOS settings. So for this Lenovo ThinkPad P52, I will head over to pcsupport.lenovo.com, enter the serial number, and hit search to locate it. Now that should show the specific configuration of this laptop. Here when I click on view, 
it should show the spec details, including the kind of storage drive it supports. Here it shows that my P52 supports NVMe. Now, if the drive you are trying to use is not supported, then that could be the cause of the problem. If you verify that you have the right drive and the issue continues, then you can move on to the next step. Here you need to check using the disk part tool that the drive is detected by your computer. And while at that, you can also reformat your drive using the clean command to ensure it is ready for Windows installation. To do this, while on this page where it cannot find any drive to install Windows on, press the keyboard combination Shift plus F10 or Shift plus Fn plus F10 depending on your keyboard layout. That should open a command line terminal like this. Here type disk pad as shown on the screen and hit enter. Here on the disk pad prompt, type list disk and hit enter. Again, that should show all the drives currently attached to your computer. Now, if you don't see your drive here, then you might be having a defective hardware between your drive and the motherboard. Maybe the connection cable or something like that. But if your drive shows up here, then you want to perform a clean operation on it to have it ready for Windows installation. To do that, type select disk and then enter the number of disks that corresponds to the disk you want to install Windows on. Here mine is disk 0, so I will type select disk 0 and hit enter. It should say disk 0 is now the selected disk. Then type clean as shown on the screen and hit enter. Now this might take a moment to complete, but afterwards it should say disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. And with that your disk is now ready for Windows installation. You can close the terminal, return back to this page. And hit refresh and hopefully your drive now shows up to proceed with the installation if that still didn't resolve the issue then the next thing you want to do is to check that the storage controller mode in your BIOS settings fits the storage disk you are trying to use for Windows installation now this is applicable if your computer is based on Intel platform talking about the AHCI versus the RST I wouldn't want to bore you with the details of these two standards Normally, the default configuration should be fine, but if you have tried all the other suggestions and none worked, then you might want to try switching from the default mode to the other mode to see if that resolves your issue. This is done from the BIOS settings, so here I will go to the storage option. And here you can see the controller mode, mine is on AHCI. I will simply hit enter, then use the arrow key to change it to RST. It pops this warning that all existing data will be erased when I reset the controller. Now it's important to secure your data before making this change. So ensure your data is backed up somewhere or you have no data to lose. In my case, I have no data on this drive. So I would hit yes to proceed. Now afterwards, try the installation once again and see if that resolved the issue. If not, you can move to the next step. Now this last step is also applicable if you're on an Intel platform and that is to install the Intel Rapid Storage Technology Driver. This is simply a software package that provides advanced storage features for systems using Intel chipsets. Now this is mainly designed to support RAID technology, but there could be times where its absence could cause such issues as your drive not being detected during Windows installation. Now if this is the cause of your issue, then you need to install this driver during Windows installation before you select the drive to install Windows on. For this reason, the driver needs to be saved to the same USB stick with your Windows installation files. So I'll go to Google and search Intel Rapid Storage Technology Drivers Zip. Then click on the link with the RAID from Intel. On the page that opens up, Scroll down to the 64-bit version and click to download the zipped file. Accept the license terms. Now after downloading, you need to extract to a folder and copy the entire folder to the USB drive you are trying to make the installation from. To make this quick, I will just go to the USB storage and create a new folder. I'll call it Drivers. Then copy my zipped file here and extract it using extract here. Afterwards, I will try to install my Windows once again. And when it gets to this page, I will select load driver. 
browse then locate the folder where i saved the drivers select and hit ok here i have my intel chipset driver i will simply select it and hit next to begin the installation process now wait for the installation to complete this could take some time and afterwards you should be able to detect and install your windows on the drive and that is it for this tutorial hope one of these was able to help you out Please indicate in the comment section which of these solutions worked for you. Or if you discovered some other solutions that weren't covered here, please share with us down the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.